Thanks for checking out The Last Frame, my Saturday morning wrap up of things that have happened in the last week in the photography world, in my life, on my YouTube channel, and a preview of some of the things to come. So the first thing I wanted to share with you guys is that I had the good fortune of being asked to write an article for a German photography magazine called Good Light Magazine. I did the article on my sci-fi geisha girl shoot, which you can see in this video, but the folks at Good Light Magazine have been kind enough to share with me a link so that you guys, my subscribers, can download a free sample issue of the magazine. So if you do it now, you'll be able to get the copy of the magazine that has my article. Now I'll be honest, I had never heard of this magazine before they reached out to me, so I checked out a couple of their issues, and I gotta tell you, pretty cool stuff. Very detailed articles, very thorough, lots of lighting diagrams, lots of examples. So I would encourage you, check it out. And if you like it, you might wanna consider subscribing. You can view the magazine on the web at goodlightmag.com. In fact, the link is in the info section below. And they also have an app available for iOS and Android. So check it out, let me know what you think. Next up, I wanted to brag a little bit. We hit 40,000 subscribers this week, and believe me, I couldn't have done it without you. You guys have been great and supportive, and you're watching the videos, and you're giving me feedback, and you're asking questions and engaging, and that's why I'm doing this. But I need your help. My goal is to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I'm not gonna be able to do that by myself. So please, share the videos. Tell your friends, tell your fellow photographers, or if you're in camera clubs or meetup groups, let people know about the channel. That's the only way that we're gonna grow it, and the more that we grow it, the more that I'm able to do. As I get more subscribers, I'm able to start to get sponsors. Now, I'll make you a promise. I promise you that I am not going to do the kinds of videos you see where basically they're just ramming the sponsor down your throat. I've made it very clear I won't do that. I've been talking to a few companies over the last couple weeks. Things are going very well. A little bit later this summer, you're gonna see some products coming into my studio that I'll be using, and when I do, I'm gonna tell you straight up that the product was given to me. I will tell you what the arrangement is so that you know if what's coming out of my mouth is being completely honest or if it's being influenced. But I promise you, my goal, as it always has been, is to teach you the hows and the whys behind making great shots. So please, thank you for the support, but I need more. Share the videos, tell people about them, and don't forget, ask questions, post comments. I want to hear from you. Now, for those of you that just watched the video that I did on the DIY LED lights, I know that quite a few of you subscribers already have the T8 fluorescent light fixtures. So before you run out and buy those DIY LED lights, I wanted to let you know that they now make LED tubes that fit the T8 fixtures. So if you don't need to transport those T8 fixtures and you're not worried about the weight if you're happy with that setup in your studio, but you'd like to switch over to the LEDs, you can go to a Home Depot or you can order online and get the tubes that hold the LED strips. They're only about $8 each. So in other words, you could convert your T8 fluorescent fixture over to an LED fixture for about half the cost of the LED setup. Now, if you're gonna do that, real important note here. There are two types of those LED tubes. One type requires the ballast that you find in the fluorescent fixtures. The other type requires that there is no ballast. So if you are not good with electricity and electronics, make sure you get the ones that require the ballast because those T8 fixtures have a ballast. If you're good with electronics and you can take the ballast out and rewire the fixtures, then you can make them even quieter and much lighter by going ahead and removing the ballast and using the tubes that do not work with the ballast. So just make sure you keep that in mind before you go and spend the money on the tubes. But if you've already got those TA fixtures, I wanna let you know they'll work just great with the LED tubes. They'll save you money, the light's just as good. So something for you to think about. Don't think you've gotta run out and get the latest, greatest, newest just because I released that video. Also, a lot of you have been asking me if I would give you a tour and more information about the space that you see me working in here when I do these videos. This is indeed a small studio that I have built in the basement of my house, and it's where I shoot all the videos that I do for you on YouTube. 
So I promise you, over the next couple weeks, I'm gonna to put together a real detailed video that walks you through the thought processes that I used when I put this space together. I'm gonna to show you some of the cool little pieces of gear and gadgets that I found along the way to really be able to maximize the space so that hopefully if some of you are planning a home studio or looking to create a space in your house where you can shoot, I can show you some things that are gonna make it a lot easier for you to work in a small space because you would be amazed how much I can do in this tiny shooting space that I have here. So it's coming up, you'll probably see it at the middle of July, but I promise you it's in the works. And last but not least, I wanted to share a video with you that I found this week. In fact, I think it was petapixel.com that ran an article about this. I just got to watch the video this morning and it's about one of my favorite photographs of all time. Now this may surprise you guys since I shoot people, but it's a video about Ansel Adams and Moonrise over Hernandez. And please, if you don't know the photograph, Moonrise over Hernandez, you can't call yourself a photographer. So you need to look it up and you need to take a look at this image. It's an amazing, amazing photograph. But what's incredible about this video, it's a documentary that has actual interviews with Ansel Adams and it has an in-depth interview with Ansel Adams' son who was with him when he took that photograph. It's amazing. Watch it at least twice. The first time, it's just cool to see Ansel Adams talking about the image and his son talking about some of the details, then how the image was created and what goes into making the prints. But watch it the second time so that you can really learn from it. And the thing that's going to surprise you the most in this day and age when we have all these debates over Photoshop and should you use it or should you not use it, Ansel Adams was doing Photoshop before there was Photoshop. And I hate to tell you, at least in my mind, it doesn't take anything away from this image. It just makes it that much more brilliant. So that's all I've got for now. Have a great week. Make sure you're taking lots of pictures because you can't learn photography if you don't shoot pictures. So until next time, remember, keep learning, keep thinking, keep shooting. Adios. Thanks for watching. If you find these videos helpful, please give them a thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And if you've got a question that you'd like answered, post it in the comment section below. Your question could be my next video.